setup of the Simple FP4 app. First of all, you have to enable Bluetooth on both smartphones. Also, you have to enable VLAN, um, or you can call it Wi-Fi. After that, connect your gamepad with one of these smartphones via Bluetooth. Hydrate the com, this is in this case. And then you can connect both smartphones to each other via Wi-Fi Direct. So go to the Wi-Fi menu and uh, Wi-Fi Direct option and then both smartphones should show each other so you can do a connection between both. If the connection is enabled you need to find out which IP address each smartphone has on the Wi-Fi Direct connection. You can do this with a terminal app if you have one. Put in IP space adr space show. You need this IP address for the simple FP4 app. The Simple FP4 app has a settings menu and there you have to put in the IP of the opposite smartphone. The connection is uh, uh, the data transfer is done by UDP protocol. Um, It doesn't matter if um, one app breaks, you can easily restart it and reconnect it to each other. So you see one of the app fails, uh, and we start it and try again the connection. And now, simple FP4 app is running on both smartphones, and the live preview on the one smartphone is transferred to the other, and a side by side view for the Open Dive video Google setup. You see there is a little bit latency, but it should work as FP found. So on the on your vehicle you need an Arduino Bluetooth module setup. Um, a sketch you found on the website www.mobile2power.de and there's all the documentation to set up this electronic device. If this is working um, on the one smartphone that works on the vehicle, you initiate the Bluetooth connection to the vehicle. So now the connection is enabled. This means 
the setup is complete. Video is transferred and also the control information. You can see this. I can control the gamepad, the car.